Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, the 20th of June. Max Messina analyst to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US markets were closed last night, but they reopened today after Juneteenth day break with the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 sitting at record highs. We saw a mixed session in Europe overnight and major central bank action today outside of the US may dominate early sentiment before we hit the US market open tonight. We've seen an air of caution across many asset classes over the last 24 hours on low trading volume, of course. But US futures are trading mixed with the Nasdaq outperforming up around about 0.35% at this stage. Asian equity markets are also struggling to make significant gains. The ASX is just below neutral in early trading. European futures also point into a cautious but slightly positive open this afternoon. The US dollar index is range bound. Gold is testing 23.30 resistance. A little bit of strength in the USD in early doors this morning, uh, but not significant. Copper holding support after a couple of mildly positive days. And somewhat thankfully, oil has poured after that push over the key 80 level a couple of days ago. We really don't want to see it much higher than it is now uh, before it starts to impact potentially on inflation and, of course, production costs. Bitcoin looked as though it was going to sell significantly as it breached support level the day before yesterday. It is neutral today after a pause yesterday as well. So it looks as though the selling is done for right now. But it does look precariously balanced, just over around about 64,000. Referenced central bank action earlier, the PBOC has kept its rates unchanged, not surprisingly. The only other data out so far today is that the Kiwi GDP has beaten expectations slightly, which was a pleasant surprise, despite that the uh, Kiwi dollar hasn't moved significantly at all since that. But on this afternoon, we've got rate decisions out of the UK and the Swiss National Bank. Uh, the former may be interesting, although pores have been priced in with soft CPI data coming out again from the UK. Uh, one wonders whether the BOE may act. We've also got German PPI this afternoon, which may impact on the euro. And tonight, we've got US weekly jobs, housing and manufacturing data all due, plus the EIA data coming out uh, that may move oil price to some degree. Tomorrow's interesting, some global PMI numbers coming across the board with manufacturing numbers out of Australia, out of the UK, out of Europe, and of course, later in the US. A couple of charts that core our eye today. Uh, we're going to start with Calix uh, Limited. You can see there we're pushed up against this one 39 level, which does look interesting historically. You can see here was support through February, March, and up to mid April before we got a brief dip below and moved back up again. And of course, before we got this downtrend subsequent, of course, we've got this V shaped bounce, which has taken us back up to 140. We're suggesting a potential price target on this of 156. Uh, that would be a significant uh, gain from that level. It would be around about 11%. Uh, but just bear in mind, this stock is one that uh, around about 5% a day. So well worthwhile bearing that in mind in terms of stock placement, etc. Should we get a breach? Uh, we're keeping an eye on the Aussie US on the hourly chart. We really haven't had much movement at all in this over the last 24 hours. So we're still perched underneath this key resistance level at 66.75. We'll see a fairly easy move up if it breaches that 67. Uh, and with this being a fairly low volatility there, uh, it means that would really uh, be around about 4 to 5 ATR. Uh, so a significant move in technical terms, even though in PIP terms it's not perhaps so appealing. But it does mean you can place the stop level quite close as well based on that volatility. And it, of course, it does stay clear of that central bank action coming out of Europe and the UK later. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.